Whoops. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me again today. I'm Erica Hughes. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Um, hit the button. Uh, it's red and when you press it, it should turn gray and then that means you're subscribed. And there's a little bell next to it and if you click on the bell, um, then you'll be notified. You get a notification on your phone when I upload a new video. Um, okay, that being said, let's jump in to today's video. So this is the dried result. There's no varnish or anything on it. This is my last um, upload just before this one. And I said I'd show the dried results. So there it is. Hopefully you guys can see that. Dried really nice. Um, no problems. I did use the zinc white in this. And here's the result. So I cannot wait to get some resin on that, which hopefully this weekend now is going to, going to be my resin weekend. So there's that one. And then today I wanted to do another, um, this is a deep edge, 24 inch by 12 inch canvas. And I mixed up this, some more of the zinc white because I have some of it and it worked out well for that one. So I might as well use what I have. Um, I have some, so this is zinc white by Amsterdam and then this is some Prussian blue. I'm debating and not, debating on whether or not to add that. And then I have some cobalt by Golden and this is this one here. I have some Galaxy and Willy Wagtail Black by Boom Gel Stain, or by Boom, yeah, Boom Gel Stain, Willy Wagtail Black, and this little piggy galaxy, right there. I have Pinwheel, this little piggy. Let me just put some on the stick there so you can see. And I have Lemon Sorbet by this little piggy. Okay, so the plan is flood with white and we're gonna go down the center again and do another blowout. I'm just curious to see how the zinc white works again because I've only used it once and that one turned out nice. So I just wanna do it again because I have some, um, you know, a tub of the zinc sitting around. So you might as well use it up. Uh, I do have a few other different bits planned for some future videos in case you guys are getting sick of these ones. So just bear with me and you guys seem to be liking me doing the Dutch pours. So, um, you know, I'll try to give everybody a little something because some people want to see me bloom. Some people want to see me do Dutch pours or straight pours. So I'm going to have a little bit of everything kind of going on in the next few weeks for you guys just to try and please everybody. You can't please everybody at once. So <laughs> we'll try and, you know, I like doing all those techniques. So... I could, I'm delighted to be doing straight pours, Dutch pours, bloom technique. I love it all. So we will be um, mixing it up on the channel for you guys. Okay, so let's just dive in. Let me get some gloves. I'm going to flood this with white. Um, let's see. I did release a short YouTube short video. It was of a Dutch pour that I did previously, and I absolutely love it. And then I'm gonna go get it and show it to you. Um, this is the one that I do in the mixing video. I blow this Dutch pour out in the mixing video um, before I actually go into the mixing. So be sure to check out the mixing video. And I'm not sure if everybody got to see this one, so I stuck it up on a YouTube short. So shorts are 60 seconds or less videos. So they're kind of just for those on the run. I love this one. It is like very seaside. I love it, love it, love it. Um, so I stuck that video up today. So if you guys mixed it, missed it in my mixing video, which there will be a link in the description below for those that want to mix like I do. Um, you can check my short shelf on YouTube. If you go to my channel, scroll down and you'll see the YouTube shorts. 
and there you can just see a it's a 60 second video of me blowing that out and then that end result so again those are for you know people that just are on the run and don't like sitting through 15 minute video um but yes besides that we're using the usa flood flow trawl and my gel gloss mix and all that so just check the description box i can't i don't want to bore you guys going over it every single video so i do have that mixing video so please check it out all right so let's go oh and i just dipped my glove i have to get better gloves or bigger cups or whatever now it's going to look like i'm using a lot of paint i do have a deep edge canvas here i'm probably going to actually have to mix up some more this way um a deep edge canvas here so I have a little bit of white over there I do I'll just have to add some water to it so I want to make sure I get my sides nice and covered <laughs> I'm going, going to put down some Prussian blue first down the center, then we're going to go in this order. We're going to go Cobalt, Galaxy with Wagtail, Pinwheel, and then Lemon Sorbet, drizzle a bit of white on top, and then blow out. <laughs> Little speckles there. Oh, I can hardly reach. My arms are too short. And Oh, I hope this one turns out nice. Okay, and then we have some lemon sorbet. Now, we'll drizzle some white. Let's see if that does anything. That's what I did last time and it was nice, so why not do it again? Looks like a, I don't know what it looks like, stop. Okay, let's pop some air bubbles. Get the hair dryer. Again, this is my travel hair dryer, 1200 watt, and I use it on low heat. All right.
Okay, so lots of cool things going on here. I did kind of mess up a little bit there. I fixed that. I'll be right back. Somebody's knocking on my door. Cells are developing awesome right here. Like, check that out. And that is some um, going to be some fun color shifting going on there. Um, let's see. I'm a little iffy about this. These little edges here, so I might spin this around and kind of just soften those up a bit. Oh, well, let's see what else. What else? It's kind of a lot of color going in here. Just I'm not too bothered by it. I might try See, I don't know. I might try and blow out a little, but I might just leave it because I don't want to mess it up. And I think it flows nice. The colors are stunning. I'm glad I put that Prussian blue in. It's a great color to have, whether it's Amsterdam or whatever. I do love the Amsterdam Prussian blue shade though. Um, but Prussian blue, definitely get some Prussian blue, whatever brand. Um, Cells are gorgeous here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape off the drips and then I'm going to debate on whether or not I'm going to fix that and I'll bring you guys down for a close up. Oh my gosh, I love the colors. I love the colors so much. I love how they're, they still hold their own. Like they haven't just blended all together and it's just this like one color. Like I love how you have the cobalt violet here and then you can see all the Prussian blue and I love that. Um, so yes, super excited. Okay, let me get to my little spatula. Do, 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 do. Where are you? Okay, so again, you gotta scrape the drips. And this is going to check, it will develop I've noticed like it you gotta give it a few minutes so I always like to try and uh, right before I go down to show you a close-up I kind of like go and take like a 10 minute break and then come back and bring you in for a close-up so you can see the changes because it does spread out I mean I did have a very small amount of paint on the canvas the, the white paint so you know it's not going to be moving a ton, but it will grow as your cells are growing and stuff like that. Paint moves, and if you're not exactly level, um, then it'll definitely move. So make sure you're level. That's kind of my, I kind of slack on that department. I should really bust out my level stick thing and make sure I'm level before I pour every time. Sometimes, like, because just because, like, say my table is level, or whatever, like you can get a canvas and it, it can be the slightest bit warped, which is frustrating, but that happens. Um, it can be warped a, like the slightest bit and then that's going to throw it off. Um, if you do get a canvas and the actual canvas uh, is, I wonder do I have one open here I can show you. Um, if it's sagging or the canvas isn't tight. A little trick you can do or just a way to tighten the actual canvas to sound like a drum you want it to sound like a drum um, is spray the back of it with just a little bit of water make sure you get towards the corners and within like seconds it'll tighten up and then you just tap the top of it I, I wonder if I have one here I'll show you um, and it just tightens it up and then that prevents any kind of sagging um, in the middle, you know, so this is gorgeous. We're definitely going to play with those colors again, definitely. Although, I'm out of my lemon sorbet, so I'll have to order some more of that for sure. Okay. Um, let's see. Do I have a canvas? I don't have, I have a used scraped canvas that I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so this one was poured on. So it's already nice and like tight, but I'll drum it. So you, this is the sound that you want when you tap on your canvas. And I'm holding the um, uh, stretch bar thing. I'm not actually touching the canvas, but you want it to sound like this. Hopefully you guys can hear that. If it doesn't sound like that, and you know, 
it doesn't sound like that, then you want to flip it over, just put it down on your table, get a spray bottle with water, and just ch -ch 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 spray. And just a little bit, you don't need a ton, and if you get too much, it'll dry. But and make sure you kind of get it into the corner. Sometimes I'll take a clean paint brush, um, like a wall painting brush, and get it all the way into the corners. And then it just instantly tightens it. You probably hear it, but I like. Anyway, just if anybody wanted to know, probably not, but. <laughs> all right, so I'll bring you guys down for a close up. Okay, you guys, so here is my viewpoint, how I see it. And the colors are just gorgeous. I have my overhead light off because it was just too reflective. So in a minute, I will show you guys the um, flash on so you can show you with the flash on so you can see all the shimmer. Yeah, it's stunning. I'm really happy that I decided to put that Prussian blue in. I really think it made the piece. I love it. I mean, that's just gorgeous. I don't mind that. I was going to blow, but it actually kind of brings the piece together, I think. So it, it kind of just flows. So I'm going to leave it so I don't risk messing it up. I love that. Yes, so I'll stick the flash on and then we'll do our little outro. Be right back. All right, flash on. I'm gonna show you guys the pinwheel doing its thing. And then check out these, the border around those cells. Just awesome. Um, okay. And I will go to that little section that I was just looking at here. It's that zinc white effect. Very cool. I'm gonna try and go through this fast because I'll end up stopping on one section and then just hanging out there for a little bit. That's neat, isn't it? Love it. Oh, I love this one too. So pretty. Yep. I am loving this piece. Loving it. Okay. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment below and let me know what you think. Um, give me a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to the channel and you're watching this video, please consider subscribing by hitting the button below and hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. And there's that galaxy in the wagtail. Now the galaxy is the shimmery one, so the wagtail is just giving that galaxy, it's making it a little bit more opaque, which is cool. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a nice weekend. Bye.